Hello class, welcome to section 2.1 where we're talking about the language of algebra. So we're going to have a lot of word problems where things are worded different ways and also you're going to see different ways that things are written. So for addition, you're going to see something like this where it's just A and the plus sign B. And it could be written as A with the word plus B, also sum of A and B. Remember sum means that we're adding and we're just adding the two um, numbers that we're using here. Then for subtraction, we have a minus b, which is written out as a minus b. You also could see difference of a and b. So on that, make sure that you have a minus b when you have that. If you see the difference of two numbers, it's going to be the first number minus the second number. Then for multiplication, we have a with the dot b, that means a times b. We could also have them with the parentheses next to each other like this, where both of them are in parentheses with nothing, with no plus or minus sign in between. We could have only the a in parentheses and then times b, or only the a, or only the b, sorry, let me rewrite this one. Um, Oops. We could have A and then in parentheses B. We could also just say A times B or a product of A and B. So that's where we're adding the two together. Next, we have division where we could have A divided by B we could have a slash b, which means divide, a over b, which means we're dividing. And here, it's a divided by b. The way we normally say this is b into a. And then we could just have it written out, a divided by b, or quotient of a and b. Here again, just like the subtraction, the um, numbers are important of the order they're in. So it's going to be here, a over b um, or a divided by b, however you're going to do that. Next, we're going to have some questions like Fred is seven inches taller than John and we just have to write this as an expression. And they'll probably say to use x for John. So here we're just gonna say x plus seven because he's seven more than um, John. It could have said to use a j, so it would say j plus seven. Whatever letter they tell you to use though, use that letter. Next, we could have something like Eric studied T hours, Rob studied ha either half or twice, I'm going to do both of these, as long. And so we need to write this. So half as long, that means it's going to be one half times um, Eric, and we're using a T for Eric, so it's one half T, and twice will just mean two T, and that's what you'll do on those. All it's asking you to do is set them up. Next, um, you're going to do uh, some comparisons. So if we have, we can say A equals B. That just means A is equal to B. Next we could have A does not equal. So here it's just is not equal. We could have written like this. So this is A is less than B. Oops. Is less than. We could have written like this, which means that A is greater than B. We 
We could also have like this, where we have less than with line under it. That means less than or equal to. So here, for example, if we had one and one, we could say that one is less than or equal to one. We could also say that one is less than or equal to two. If either of those statements is true, then this symbol is what we can use. We can also have it the opposite way, which is, is greater than or equal to. So here, if we had two greater than or equal to one, or two greater than or equal to two, those are set both correct. Next, we have x squared and x cubed. What this means is x squared, which is the power of two, or second power. And what that means is you're multiplying x by itself two times. So here it would be x times x. This one would be x times x times x. You're just multiplying whatever's there by itself three times. And whatever number you have here as the exponent, that's what you're doing. But this we could say x cubed it's the power of three and the third power. So doing some ones with other numbers, let's say we have three raised to the four. What this means is three times three times three times three. Now you're, gonna mul you're not gonna say three times four. It's three multiplied by itself four times. Whatever the exponent is, that's how many times you're multiplying the base number to itself. So here, three times three times three times three is 81. Then what, let's say we have negative three to the four. Here, this, the exponent only affects what is directly in front of it. So here, we're going to have a negative three times three times three times three, which is negative 81. We don't raise the um, negative to the power unless we have the negative 3 in parentheses. Then this 4 affects everything in the parentheses. So this would be negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 which equals positive 81 because negative times negative is positive times negative is negative times negative is positive. So that's the big difference here. And it's really important that you know the difference between these two. So the next type of thing that you're gonna get is something like seven squared minus six squared all over seven minus six, that whole thing squared. So what we do is everything that's on top and everything that's on bottom of the fractions separately before we combine them. So on the first part, we're just gonna we have the um, order of operations is PEMDAS, which means that we do everything in parentheses first, then exponents, and then multiplication, division together, and then addition and subtraction together. And we'll see some more of those in a bit. So here, we're going to say 7 squared is 7 times 7, which is 49, minus 6 squared, which is 6 times 6, which is 36, all over. And here we do the parentheses first. So 7 minus one, 6 is 1 squared. And so now, um, 49 minus 36 is 13, all over 1 times 1, which is 1. 13 divided by 1 is 13. So that's how you'll do the questions like this. The next type of thing you're going to have is something like Bert's age is 6 years 
less than twice Ernie's age. Okay, so, and we're going to use an X for Ernie. And all we have to do is set this up. So, what we know is twice Ernie's age means 2 times x, so we're going to say 2x, and it's 6 years less, so we're going to subtract 6. So 2x minus 6, and that's all you have to do here. That's all it's asking you to do. Then let's say we have something like x plus 3 is equal to... twice x minus 4. So twice x means 2 times x. So the first one is x plus 3. So we're going to say x plus 3 is equal to twice x means 2x minus 4. And that's all you have to do on this one. Now again, I'm going to go over PEMDAS. This is the order of operations. So we always do what's in the parentheses first, then exponents, and then multiplication and division at the same level, and addition and subtraction, and both of these are just left to right. So if we have a division, say we have 12 divided by 6 times 2, we would do the division first and then the multiplication because they're at the same level. So 12 divided by 6 is 2 times 2 equals 4. Um, the part, the one, this people miss this one, they'll try to do the multiplication first and get 12 divided by 12 and get 1, but that's the wrong answer. And same thing with addition and subtraction. Just do them, all the additions and all the subtractions at the same time, left to right. So a longer one here, let's say we have 12 minus 3, then in parentheses, 2 times 5 minus 9, close parentheses. So, according to PEMDAS, we do what's in parentheses first. And in parentheses, we have both a multiplication and subtraction. So we're going to do the multiplication first. So we're going to have 12 minus 3, 2 times 5 is 10, minus 9. Now we have to do what's in the parentheses first. So we have 12 minus 3, and in parentheses, just a 1. So now we're going to do the multiplication, because we have a 3 times 1. So this just becomes 12 minus 3, and this all becomes 9. All right, so that's the end of section 2.1. For the credit, what I want you to do is send me what the rules for exponents are. Um, and the examples that I had were 3 to the 4, negative 3 to the 4, and then negative 3 in parentheses, all raised to the 4. So let me know what the difference between all of those are, of those three.